Hey guys, this is Maths Athlete, and uh, today we'll be talking about adding and subtracting stones. Alright, so before we start, rules again in green. Uh, f- uh, one of the rules is that only like you have, it's called like like terms it's there like terms can be collected so as in like terms as in collect uh, as in collect as in, in as in um, subtracting and adding and uh on like Cannot be collected. What do we mean? So, what do we mean by unlike terms? So, say we have, uh, so we have two root five plus three root eight. These are two unlike terms. The this term, this term, is not the same as this term. So we cannot add them. So this does not equal 5. And then you choose which one you want. So say you have 5 over 5 root 8. No, it does not equal that. You have to rearrange it uh, to get the answer. So let's, as always, let's look at a few examples. So here are a few examples. Uh, let's use blue. Okay, so root 7 plus 4 root 7 well that's the same as saying one lot of root 7 one lot, so pretend there's a 1 here because 1 times root 7 is the same as root 7 1 lot of root 7 plus 4 lots of root 7 so it's simply 4 plus 1 so it's 5 root 7 so that's the final answer but now we don't have the same roots We don't have the same roots. This is root 8 and this is root 2. We cannot add different types of roots. These are called unlike terms. The first first one was uh, like terms, but now we have unlike terms. Sorry. Yeah. Um, So let's let's do what we learned from the previous lesson, which was to manipulate thirds. So let's do instead 2 root 2 plus root 2. Remember 2 root 2 from the first, from the second video, it's the same as uh, root 4 times root 2, and root 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 2. And let me write it here, root 4 times root 2 equals 2 root 2. You remember this times this equals this? Yes. So, now we can add them, because they are they are uh, like terms, so now we have 3 root 2, because we have 2 lots of root 2's and 1 lot of root 2, remember the same as saying 1 root 2, and so we add the, the you can call them coefficients if you want, of the roots, uh, 2 plus 1 equals 3, and then you add the root 2 at the end. Now this, I added one, I added this one, uh, I don't actually know why, because uh, this is a perfect square, it'll just be 4 plus 4 equals 8. But anyway, it was in there, so uh, decided to do it. So this is the basic idea. You have a lot, a uh, you have a amount, you have an amount of something, and you add them. It's similar to five a plus five b. A and b are two different numbers. You cannot make it ten a b because that is exactly a different number and a different answer you'll get. You just cannot add these two. You can you can factorize them, so you can have five a plus. I don't know why I'm doing my my signs joined up a plus b. So that's the same as that. But this does not this does not equal this, and that's a very dangerous mistake to make. So um, let's go through a few more. Let's go through a few more examples. So now we see that we have a uh, another another expression we're asked to simplify. Um, <coughs> notice here how we can collect 
as we mentioned at the start, we can collect sets. So we have a pair of five root five here, five lots of root five, and minus two lots of root five. You can you can use algebra to ex uh, to clarify this uh, idea more to you. You can say let root five equal a and let root 3 equal b sorry my hand my uh, writing going to the left um, so now you can have 5a plus 4b minus 2a plus 7b and this just and this you can uh, rearrange it so it's 5a minus 2a and then you have plus 4b plus 7b which is the same as 3a and plus 11b and now you can just plug them back in so you now you have 3 root 5 plus 11 root 3 this is one method of doing it, but this was uh, sort of like uh, just to ex explain what's going behind. Uh, but I suggest we use a different example. Let's use instead uh, our own third knowledge because uh, that's what we should be getting used to, not algebra. So we have five lots of root five and two lot and uh, minus two lots of two root five. So that's the same as. So let's do it by t by terms first. 5 root 5 minus 2 root 5 it's simply 5 minus 2 which is 3 so it's 3 root 5 and now we have the other term which is uh, 4 root 3 plus 7 root 3 equals 11 root 3 so now your final uh, simplified form is 3 root 5 plus 11 root 3 which is the same as 3 3a plus 11 b like we got at the start um, but yeah this is how you would simplify it um, there's not really much to cover with adding and subtracting sets it's just the concept and that you keep practicing and getting with it and uh, getting yourself used to it and uh, I think this is the end of this lesson. Um, the next lesson we will discuss possibly multiplying sets. And then we'll go on to difficult, uh, not, it's not difficult, like I don't want to scare you, but uh, more complex stuff uh, such as rationalizing. And this is stuff they test you on in the exam along with all the other topics. Um, thank you for watching and goodbye.